NESN may have its problems, but when it comes to showing replays of Red Sox highlights, its performance is second to none. Take Wednesday's afternoon game, for example. Here is a replay of Mookie Betts' first home run of the day, leading off the fourth inning. Announcers often talk about how good hitters keep their front shoulder in and have very little movement of their head during their swing, and I think you can see that here, Mookie Betts' second home run, which came with one out in the fifth, Betts went deep a third time, to dead center, with one out in the fifth, J.D. Martinez hit a two-run homer in the fourth, which tied the game at 3-3. Notice the differences in Martinez's approach at the plate versus Betts's stance, but an ESN doesn't just excel at replays on home run swings. Check out the critical moment from this replay from the eighth inning, when there was some controversy about whether John Jay was hit in the left foot with the pitch or whether the ball hit the dirt first, but seriously. First, I swear to you that every picture in this post is the entire television screen. What is the point of a replay, or an instant replay, as they used to be called, if it does not show what you are supposed to be seeing? One of the most annoying, and most baffling, aspects of ANESN baseball broadcast is the excessive zooming in for replays. In addition to the shots in this post, we see this when ANESN shows a home run ball sailing out of the park. In many cases, the high left field camera will zoom in tightly on the ball as it flies through the air, on its way into or over the monster seats. But there is absolutely no perspective with these shots. We have no idea where the ball is in relation to anything else in the ballpark, or anything else in the universe, for that matter, since the ball is shown against nothing but the blue sky or white clouds. If NESN is afraid that fans will be confused and think the replay is part of the live game, it should put a big replay in the upper right-hand corner. There. Problem solved. No charge, NESN, that one is on me. Two examples from last weekend, here is Betts about to get hit by a pitch on April 28th. In addition to having no idea where Mookie is going to be hit, we actually cannot see the baseball. How can you show a batter getting hit by a pitch if the pitch is out of the frame? Here is the replay of Martinez's base hit in the first inning on April 29th. Again, this is an utter waste of time. It gives us nothing useful. NESN also has the habit of showing replays from an angle where it is impossible to tell anything about the outcome of the play. Either the runner's foot or the fielder's glove is blocked from our view, so we have no idea what has happened. Since there is a limited amount of time in which to show replays, why not concentrate on the ones that actually serve a purpose? Often what is needed is a super slow motion replay and NESN uses this at times, on plays at first, usually. I really like seeing these, but I don't see them often enough. They take longer to show, obviously, but if the director ignored the useless replay angles, there would sufficient time for the frame-by-frame -frame replays. Plus, and this seems fairly important for NESN to keep in mind, viewers might actually be able to see if the correct call was made. But even if that doesn't happen, NESN's excessive, and pointless and unproductive, zooming in for batter replays has got to stop. Or maybe the network should stop showing replays altogether. I believe that would not annoy me as much as what happens now. Amazingly, as far as my enjoyment of watching Red Sox games, it would be addition by subtraction.